Oh, this is not a drill, guys. This is not a drill. We've got good reptile cards, finally. Guys, this is crazy. I don't think Konami was capable of this shit. Oh, stop, drop, and roll, because damn, is this hot. Uh, we got a snake rain bio and a lot of other reptilian support getting bought out welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! market watch it's your boy thomas from team sakurazo here i feel very wet uh that water bottle uh, skit was not maybe the best idea uh but regardless leave a like if you guys enjoy these market watches uh subscribe if you've not already if you're buying any cards off tcg player please use my fill link down in the description below helps out the channel to no additional cost to you it is going to my pants right now this really sucks uh, also, check out my sponsor, Tapio Cards. Awesome people. Uh, you can buy Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff there and get 5% off if you use code Saki. And we are going to get right into this because not only do we have a lot of buyouts, but the market is shifting from Maze to Millennia, which if you don't know, go check out my last video on that. CR Snake Rain is going up because we've got the new theme, Rika. I think this archetype's great. It's TLDR. It feels like a tri 2.0. If that makes sense, but Snake Rain over here is bought out sorta at $45 going up to 60. This has happened a few times before, but at least this time it makes sense because I can see this card seeing play, which is something I've doubted quite a bit in the future. And as you guys see, I punished myself for it. Uh, but yeah, $70 here for your CR Snake Reigns. But it at least has a budget rare from Ancient Guardian. So if people want to play a cool archetype, they don't have to spend like the 5 to $10 this rare used to be back before it was just a Tactical Master rare. Uh, another card I want to look at is Serpentine Princess, Serpentine Princess, I should say, because this is a great card that's going to have a lot of synergy. Because if this face up card is sent directly from the field to your deck, which this archetype has a way to do that. In fact, multiple ways. You special summon a level 3 or lower monster from your deck. So, yes, you can do a card that has, like, synergy with the level 3s. Or it could be a generic level 3. And, again, it could be lower. So, there's a lot of stuff that this card could play with, uh, which is really great. And the deck can play off of, so of something else. But it's normal summon, so you could keep specialing. So, you could play this as a 3 of a normal summon in the deck. Granted, I don't know what theory crafters are on. But this is one of the cards I thought of. Because I'm like, there's a card that would you do have synergy with this. I'm like, oh, and I literally look through Legacy of Darkness and Mal Raiders. Because I always think that whenever I think of an old card, it must be a Mal Raiders card. But this card is actually going up for these copies as well. Uh, first editions here are about near mint light plays don't exist. So good luck with that. Um, but yeah, Resonance Insect uh, is also getting about. Because if you don't know, it uses reptiles, insects, and plants for uh the new archetype and if it's not from the field graveyard you add a level five or higher insect from the deck to your hand and if it's banished you can send insect monster from your deck to the graveyard so really good card overall and it has, saw a huge spike here this card is back to about a four going up to a, a six seven dollar card here i told people you should get these when they were about a buck because it's just good insect support in general if you did good job uh you do have comments here for cents at least so you know playable uh thrust has crashed down right here to the 44 dollar mark granted we see him at 50 uh, over here, people are just panic selling them like crazy. Bombs at 55. I think that this is going to stay around 40 or 50, though. I think people are kind of going a little too crazy with this. I mean, people forgot to realize that when Baron got reprinted, you know, the, that, the card dropped, but then it went way high, as high as it used to be because the reprint, it didn't do as much damage as people thought it would. And Thrust is a card people want three of. And this is still at least OG print. Uh, so I'm not saying that this card is going to go back up to the $75, $85 mark. I'm just saying I would personally, I would fire sell them off here at 43 to 50 personally, uh, at least 40. I think that if you could pick up a set for 120 and you want this card cheaper, it's not bad. But if you should, if you've been watching my market watchers have the ultis and these ultis, oh, 80, 85, $90, not dipping at all. Why? Because it's the ulti from OTS. That's why I told people spend the extra 20, 
uh, per copy for ulti, so you can retain your value. If you spent 70s for your secret rares, I mean, you you lost a lot of the money here. And the best part about the ultis is that if you're on a budget or you're like, or these hit like 100, 110, you could move these and then just downgrade. People don't realize that when you go high rarity, you don't have to stick high rarity. You can downgrade as well. So if you got your ulti thrust, good job. Call by the grave, quarter century here. Uh, about $28, $35. I'm not shocked. With pull rates being as low as they are, uh, this card was bound to soar. I thought at yeah, 15 to 20, it wasn't too bad. Now we're about 28, 35. So not bad overall. Rescue Ace Hydrant, which is seeing a shocking uh reprint already. And remember. If this card is already is seeing a reprint, that means Pearly and McConko could be anywhere on the block. Uh, about $15, $16 for these could even reach up to as close to 10s. It's so funny because if these hit 10s, it's these car this card was still like five dollars at one point. A lot of people are gonna think I'm on cap. No, rescue race hydrants at one point were five to ten dollars. Uh the yearly will will show because again, yearly doesn't always show the best here, but it shows the six dollar mark. Oh no, it shows five right there. Okay, see, card was all what used to be low for a long time here. Quick note about thrust that I want to mention: we have seen now three reprints out of Photo Hypernova already, which is the Ulti Thrust, Ulti Welcome, and now an Ultra Rare Thrust as well. And then we have the Band Arise Heart. So Konami has touched Photo Hypernova four times, and I think that as we get closer to the tins, they're going to reprint Photo Hypernova a little bit more. Meaning that it's probably not going to be in the tins, similar to how Power of the Elements was not in the tins as well. But again, that is just a theory. I'm just noting that they've done it for a fourth time. Now, we have some Edison cards we got to go over here. So, Gaia Plate, they're giant. I've went over this already. It is still at this ridiculous price of $45, $50. While as the ulti here is about $6,500 for uh, first endermans. And by the way, I have no filters on besides verified here as you could see would i be paying this absolutely not it is used in a decent edison deck which is uh i think it's like gyo turbo is what it's called um and it's pretty good it's like it just pumps out this and i think the it, the gaia card from heroes i think i'm not as familiar with the deck but i've seen it before personally you should not be spending this kind of money this is not like the amaryllis where at least it's good in the format this card is not <laughs> this deck is not as good from what i've seen maybe i'm wrong and it has some tops correct me in the comment section below but this is just ridiculous konami hopefully gets on reprinting more edison cards maze of millennia had nothing unfortunately ulti goyo guardian here i want to take a look at this i still have my damaged one for if you're an og subscriber you know why i have the damaged one 50 dollars here 55 with your first sets being 150 here uh the unlimiteds are pretty good to get i mean you get for one third of the price so it's not that bad and then they go up to about 180 the first sets have always been around that price there used to be more unlimiteds and there's not. If you want high rarity Edison, I go ahead and grab the unlimiteds here, especially because I feel like people would rather spend 50 for a near mint unlimited than a. And remember, it has to be light play, a first said light play at triple the amount here. Uh, these copies can easily hit 100 before these copies go up like 20 extra dollars, 20, 25, 30. So I would definitely grab the unlimiteds while you can. You also have to put less into it here and who knows maybe if the unlimited could hit closer to 100 and the first set stick to around 150 160 might help you uh upgrade to a first set in the future if you desire dts want to go over these 25 dollars here this used to be like less than five dollars which is like crazy uh at one point and that's when i told people to grab them if you did good job you made some money same with dt catastrophes they were cheap too goyo secrets here are about i actually own one of these as well 1820 for your odd uh, limit uh for your near mints there lightly plays are about the same here people really do like the secret rares and i think though however if you're looking for a high rarity goyo i would go ulti just because that's a small window for you right now before they because there's only a couple copies before they hit uh light uh you know the 100 dollar mark 
Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon here. Someone want me to go over this, and believe it or not, this is one of the ghost shows I own from Stekka Haunting, as well as the Cyber Dragon. I own one copy, the Balls, uh, and the Red Dragon Archfiend. I only own two Balls, though. Uh, these are about 35 for light play. Okay, pretty good, right? About 50s here, still pretty good. Seven, 65, 70, completely understand it, going up to $75 here. And I have light play near mental, 14 listings here. That's not a lot here. If you guys want these cheaper copies, go ahead, grab them. If you do grab anything off TCG player, it doesn't have to be just Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not saying to grab these for, you know, um, I'm not a financial advisor, I should say, just as a disclaimer here. But yeah, Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. These are about, let's go without photos here. Uh, near mints are about 24, so that's a cheaper copy because these were about 30. First heads are about 32, 33. Uh, goes up to about 50 is over here, 45, 50, not bad. But there's a wall for 29 from Gamer's Choice 2. So you'll be fine for your secret Phantasmes. But I'm actually kind of shocked that people aren't letting this go to a $40, $50 card. Especially when this card used to be anywhere from 90 to 110 Seeing this card around the $50 to $60 mark wouldn't be too surprising to me. Uh, you do have Ultras here at about $10, $11 though. So if you got these at R2, good job. As I tell people, get hand traps when they're not seeing play. Because when they're, when they're not seeing play, they're at their cheapest. Uh, Saphira is finally going up. I don't know if we're getting the new support in the next core set here, uh, where we get all the Ubel stuff as well, and I think Phantom Nightmare in February. I don't know if the Saphira stuff is there or the next core set. I'm assuming it's in our coming up core set, especially because we got the Saphira stuff announced for uh, like a while ago. But right now they're like four, going up to ten dollars. If you want it, I mean four or five bucks is completely fine for Dual Alliance Ultra. You got these here at about. You got three of fours before they go up to nines if you want them. Hey, three of fours are fine. Ulties are about 18 here. First eds are about, uh, you know, 33, 35, going up to 50. That's that's fair. That's fair. I mean, it's not good, but this ulti does look gorgeous. By the way, this was one of the, the like, the second worst ulti, I think, out of Duelist Alliance. Uh, if I remember correctly, a pool. So it's really funny how it's worth this much here. Avenging Knight Parshaft here. By the way, if you don't like the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Thank you to all my YouTube channel members. If you want to be a YouTube channel member because you're like, hey, the content's great. I'd love to see more of it. I appreciate anyone who considers being a YouTube channel member. There's no pressure to do so. I do, however, have my first channel member video hopefully coming tomorrow i was gonna get try to get out last week but i ended up being quite busy here and it'll be a interesting market watch over specific stuff that i think a lot of people were like it's gonna be quite a long one too so yeah uh for my youtube channel members out there be excited uh this is 14 for a common and i was on fresh off the presses live stream and something that i've decided that we should coin together is a financial layer uh i would say a financial illiteracy moment uh, it's really funny how i say illiteracy and then i butcher illiteracy isn't that kind of ironic anyway so what this term is going to mean is that people do not look at other versions before buying and it can range from really bad for example this comment is 14 dollars, but guess what you could get this super rare for less and it looks nicer and it's older and it looks and it has that nice special edition 5D's foiling looks. I, I've seen these poor, they look really nice here. Why are you spending 14 on this common when supers are 12? And by the way, this isn't like a recent buyout. This card's been money for like a long time. I go over it probably once, maybe twice a year. I go over the secret at least twice a year. And I guess this is the first time for this year. I'll look back at it probably in eight, nine months. But Avenging Night Par Shaft, this was about 75 80 to about 100 for first edition. Good. Uh, you know, for first edition, remember 21, 25, honestly, if you're going to spend on a common you're gonna sp or, or a super, eh, getting unlimited secret of this is not that bad. First editions, what are we looking at today? 73 going up to about 85, 105 here. Um, can't be shocked here. It's not an amazing card for a level eight, but basically you change the battle position of face up monster port controls. It does. I don't, it doesn't target, I guess, which is good. And then it does piercing. So is it a good card? Not really. Maybe if it was a, if it was a quick effect uh, battle position, I think this card would be great. But it's not. 
Uh, is it an Edison card technically? Yes. Uh, are fairies a deck technically a deck? Yes. Um, but I don't know. Anyway, some CRs I want to go over here. Uh, Ghost Ball getting bought out at about twenty dollars. I told people you'll get quarter centuries for at like twelve dollars. Uh, if you did, you didn't even have to look at this though. Uh, people want to say what other uh, uh, collectors should we be looking at? I think Valors are really nice. I told people eight to not ten dollars was really good. Now they're they're thirteens. I think the quarter century people are with it being as it is, which why not just go over that as well? People are gonna go over here because they're like, well, I don't want to spend seventy to eighty. Yeah, you got, they're getting a little further down here. But I don't want to pay this basically 250 or more on a set of quarter century Valor, especially if you have to buy them online. You get tax. I would rather get CRs at less, about 40 for the set, especially because they look really nice. And that is a enormous price difference. I think that if you're looking at Electro Rares before they go up to something stupid, Valors are one. Nibs are another one here, you know, $9. Again, these used to be like a little cheaper here at five, six. Uh, do I, this is, yeah, this is the collector error. The, the picture doesn't, it looks like it's the ulti. Um, I don't know if that's just my mind playing tricks, but not bad. Eight, six, nine dollars. Evenly is not bad either at about seven dollars as well. And then we have Lancia here as your like cheaper pickup at two dollars, 45 listing as well. This can easily hit about five, six bucks. So I would grab especially these for your collectors. And then the last card I want to go over here is Snake Eyes Flambro Dragon. Also, thank you for those who have told me cards to go over. I appreciate it a lot. I got quite a bit to go over. I love it when people tell me to go over cards. Uh, oh, remember. Leave some co uh, comments down below what cards we're going over next, Mark. Watch. I won't always go over everybody's suggestion, but I do the best I could. But this is bought out um, even further. Yeah, 89 but it goes up to about $100 for a copy here. Uh, I think this card could hit 100 here. It is one of the best quarter centuries from a core set I've seen. Just because I not only did I pull this card, but just the artwork itself. It looks like I love zombie type cards and this looks like a zombie card to me. I know it's a dragon, but it looks like a zombie card. It looks awesome. I absolutely love it. And with all the Snake Eye stuff going crazy, I mean, it's going to keep going further further up. Well, with that being said, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the double upload today. Peace.